up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss T Talk. I am here with Dante. How Dante, are you? Dante, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You're an artist. I'm an artist. I'm like, an artist. It, yes. okay, your paintings mm -hmm. are beautiful to Thank start. You. <laughs> Thank you. Like, where do you get the idea? Because I feel like it's like a like a trend mm -hmm. of your 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 artwork. Like, where did you get it from? Um, I'm really big on anything supernatural, anything weird, anything that's really abnormal and abstract. Mm -hmm. So I like to portray that a lot in my work, a mm -hmm. lot in my work. So the ideas really don't come from anything but everything at the same time. Yeah. Like you get what I mean? I'll see something and I'm like, how can I make that weird? And I just go with it. And you go with <laughs> it. I just go with it. And it's like different, I, I think of it as like different characters. Like, do you think, like, you're making, like, I feel like you have, like, a, a world <laughs> of different characters. I do, I do. Right? I do, and you're, I like, do. creating them. It's like your own Sims. Yeah, I love the Sims. Oh, you do? I love the oh, Sims. Yes. yes. You just touched my heart with that oh, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love the Sims. That's how it feels like. Mm -hmm. You're making your own characters in your own world. They, mm -hmm. Do they each have different personalities, they do. you would say? They do. They do have different personalities. There's, like, Broderick. There's Kim. There's a bunch of people. There's a bunch of oh. people. And I create these people... Uh, so other people can see them and they'd be like, you know what? I want to be a representation of this character that he's created because one of my characters Broderick He's like um, really spacious and super cool and really out there But he's mm -hmm. super positive and even though things knock him down. He's like, you know what? I'm Broderick. I can do whatever I put my mind to so that's what I'm gonna do mm -hmm. And that's what I like to show people. It's just like you can do anything you put your mind to Exactly, because I feel like, you know, I've known you for years yes. And I've never seen you do paintings. Like, mm -hmm. where did that come from? I've always drawn, but I was always um, more attracted to more of a spotlight with anything mm -hmm. with, like, um, dancing, Oh, cheering. yes. Oh, yeah, you was yeah. twerking. <laughs> yeah, doing yes. all that stuff, all that stuff. So I always drew, but it was um, something I didn't take seriously until about, like, two years ago. And that's when I was like, you know what? I'm really good at this. I'm always doing it. If I'm sitting down and I have a piece of paper and a pen, Drawing you, you're drawing I'm something. Drawing something. So, 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 so like, the let's pen, do something with it. yeah, the pen is key for you. That's it. The pen and mm -hmm, the paint, mm -hmm. and like you have like earthy vibes yes. as well. Yes. You know, in bright earthy vibes mm -hmm. that I'm getting from it. all of your paintings, mm -hmm. which I really adore. I'm looking at them. I'm like, oh my god, that looks so cute. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Thank I want to talk about you. some of these. Yeah. Oh my god. So okay, we're gonna talk about the skeleton. This one. Yeah. 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 What is what is what is this like? I'm looking at it, and it reminds me of like. A king, but like a, maybe like a dead king, or yeah, it could yeah, be yeah. it could be a queen because it's a skeleton, there you go, which has there you, you go, really thinking, there you go. <laughs> and then like the roses around mm -hmm. it, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. you, you and the butterflies. So butterflies is your thing. Yes, Dante butterfly. That's me. That's me. Why butterflies? What does that mean to you? Um, it means everything to me essentially. Butterflies, when they're born, they're caterpillars at first. Nice. But my whole thing is, when they're born, do they know they're gonna be a butterfly? It's like, do you know, bro? Mm -hmm. Do you really know? So it's like, that's why I like butterflies so much because they may not know this process is happening, but it happens eventually. Everybody yeah. soon goes from a caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly. A butterfly. A beautiful butterfly. Yeah, and I, I like that. That's why I love butterflies. Mm -hmm. You know, those are symbolic. Yeah. Elephants are symbolic. Yes, money. Yeah, money. Yeah, <laughs> money. yeah, money. And you do a lot of symbolism in your work. Mm -hmm. I mean, a painting that you drew for me, which mm -hmm. I love. Well, yeah, I can't I'm wait to I love crying. that you love it. I love you have you UFOs love in there. Mm -hmm. You have a tattoo of the woman. Her mm -hmm. her hair is pink. <laughs> I mean, it's like these abstract mm -hmm. things that you're putting in the, in these artwork is like, wow. wow yeah. You know, it's not like black hair, right, the regular right, right. black hair, mm -hmm. or the regular brown right, hair, right. or anything like that. It's it's these it's pink. Pink, yeah. Yeah. So why why so abstract? Because everything abstract in my paintings, I want people to see themselves a little bit. It's just mm -hmm. like you know what, my favorite color is pink, and I like pink. I'm gonna go dye my hair pink. Like you know, I just yeah. want people to feel like themselves all the time. And the only way I can make people feel that way is if. I feel my way. Yeah, like, you, you feel know, your way. And, 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 and it's beauty. Mm, thank you. That's why I'm like, I'm so, oh my God, that looks so dope. That's thank like, you. You know what that looks like? Cool. It looks like J-Lo. <laughs> J-Lo? Yeah. I can see how it looks like J-Lo. No. That's actually really funny. Like, in living color, J-Lo. Like, back in the That's day, J-Lo. That's actually really funny. With the, the nose. Yeah. Yes. And, like, the skull. Uh-huh. Yeah. That, that, yeah. The, the skull but the is, action. Mm -hmm. yes. And you know what's funny? He had two eyes at first. He had two eyes at first, but Ooh. I was at work and there was this guy and he had an eye patch. And I was like, you know what? Somebody's about to get an eye patch. And, and I made Ooh. one of his eyes bigger than the other. So I was like, you know what? Oh, Here's an eye patch, bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> a and happy the mistake. The details, Thank I you. love that. And is that like the hair? 
Yes. Was that, yes. It looks like a bonnet, kind of. That, that's what I was kind of going for at first, but I was I really don't. I couldn't even tell you what it was. I just yeah. went with it. Happy mistakes. Yeah, happy mistakes. That's all art is. Dude. Yeah, because if I feel like if you put the bonnet on it, it would have mm -hmm. gave me a, a a Black Panther vibe. Yeah, I just drew a picture like that too. Yeah, because yeah. I know the movie just came yeah. out. It's raving. Yes. It's huge. Mm -hmm. It's huge. I love that movie. And like when you see certain things, TV shows or movies do that also influence you to do some of your drawing? Yes, 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 yes. Because most of my art is mostly like, if you can tell, I always make them a darker skin. If yes. they're not like a blue or a green, they're always black. They're always black. But it's like what Black Panther is right now. It's like, I'm showing you black people can be superheroes. I'm showing you yeah. black people can be mermen and aliens and all things like that. Like that's what I really want to go for, to show people you can be you. You can be you, can exactly, be you. and I like that. You know, you're giving, you know, people supporting black business. Mm -hmm. Like this is your business. Yes. This is what yes. you're doing. This is what you want to do. Mm -hmm. For you Which know, is for weird. yeah. <laughs> Which is weird. I know. Coming from twerking and cheerleading, <laughs> now from I'm an artist exactly. and I'm, I'm stamping. I'm yeah, yeah, I'm stamping black art mm -hmm. onto a canvas, onto a paper, mm -hmm. onto literally anything you know mm -hmm. to, to you know to show work and i really love and i what is what is who is this it's mad ufos and a giant eye so i oh like God, that, that eye that mm -hmm. one eye i i like mm -hmm. that it's just because it's just one it's just one so in my brain i believe we all have three eyes you know one two three mm. we have all have three eyes but him he's that far advanced that he only needs one he can see from his third eye, but his two visual eyes as well. So there's no need for individual when you have that. just one. Yeah, you're just giving me one. like the Illuminati vibes. Yeah, that's what I go for. That's kind of what I go yeah, for. Yeah, because I know? saw the pyramids and the <laughs> yeah. UFOs and the. And there's meaning behind the, all stuff like that. I everything. Know. And that's the cool part. And that's the really cool part. Because when I really digest my painting and I tell people about it, they're like, I would have never guessed. I would have yeah. never known. And that's the great thing yeah. about art open interpretation. Like people see things and they see something completely different than I created. They yeah, then what you created, <laughs> and, and, and that's different. what I definitely wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. When you when you look back at these, do you have different thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes so, yeah. I still really like it, or sometimes I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, sorry, y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to hurt y'all. Yeah, like that. That, sorry. that. Yeah, that could have been mm -hmm. a little bit better. Just a little bit yeah. better, but that what that's what helps me grow. Like when I look mm -hmm. back at the things that I've done, I'm just like, ooh, I could have paid a little bit more attention to detail with this. So I know that now for my next piece, instead of spending 15 minutes on detail like I did with this one, mm -hmm. I'll spend 30 now. So yeah. it looks even better. I just want to improve the quality of the what quality I do. of what you do, and that's great because I see, you know, when you when you first begin to mm -hmm. to now. And I know you want to see your artwork yeah. into different, you know, art. I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, you're not mm -hmm. from, well, you're from Long Island. Yes. And you moved. Yes, I live in Georgia Yeah, now. live in Georgia. Georgia, but we're back in New York for yeah, T-Talk. Yeah, tea we're, talk. we're in New York for <laughs> T-Talk. Mm -hmm. You want your artwork to eventually be in a gallery. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, like yes. Something like the African American mm -hmm. Museum. Yes, 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 yes. Something like that. I mean, you know, you're you're independent. Mm -hmm. You're doing this alone. Yes. Your vision is, is yeah. you know, alone. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so to even get, and you know what? What I, what I think you should do as mm -hmm. well, which is so cool. Like, I can see you doing, like, paint night. And really show mm -hmm. people like what to do. Yeah. That one eye, the triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what's so right? funny? I actually hosted one sip in paint. Ooh. I hosted one sip in paint because I live in Georgia and in my garage, I was like, you know what? I need to do something in here with people. I like people sometimes, you know? So yeah. why not? So why not? So we sat down. I got a couple of people that I, um, I worked with at first and I was like, you know what, y'all? I paint. Y'all like to drink? Let's paint and drink yeah, at the same time. Drink. At the same time, because I went to a sip and paint and it was really informative. Like it really taught me just basic primary colors, how to lay down something flat. Mm. So I was just like, huh. And it inspired so many pieces after that. Just that one, that class, one class, that one class. So I was like, imagine what I can do for other people with just one, one class. class. I just got my first feature actually in an art, ga in an art gallery. Oh I got my, my first God, feature really? in Queens. No. Yeah, in Queens how at the, um, the Jamaica Center of Learning and Art on Jamaica Avenue. And I was so happy. It was this one that was actually featured. This oh one and that gosh, one. Really? They were featured. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? I cried a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I cried a little dead. bit. Because yeah. I woke up to it. Like I didn't even know. They were like, um, I woke up to an email. They was like, hey, we love everything that what you're um, what you're doing. We're not asking for the originals, but if you can send us like um an expanded copy of your works, we will gladly hang them up. And I was just like <laughs> Me? <laughs> me? Right, you sure? Little me. <laughs> right, this the right artist? I was like, I got you, totally. And I, I was so happy about that. Yeah. 
and that, that's everyone. that's like a stepping stone in the right direction. In the right direction, mm -hmm. where people are really looking and really watching. I right, mean, right. this is only gonna go huge. I mean, yeah. you're gonna probably see this on. You know, when people do like graffiti work or mm -hmm. something like that. This is gonna be. This is something I can see. Like this, or even these characters can be in a show or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's my goal. I want to make um kind of like a mystical kind of black kind of show because I like to show black people in mystical forms and yeah, and magical true. themes and stuff like that because when you watch TV you see The Wire you see um anything with like shooting gang violence that goes yeah, with black people like that. yeah Shots fired. exactly and it's yeah. just like it's cool it's it's fun to watch I know it happens like you know I've lived around it but it's just like eh but I like Harry Potter and I like seeing people of mm -hmm. color in things like that because yeah. black girl magic, black boy magic, like you know, yeah, if we definitely. are this magic we say we are, let's see it. Yeah, let's see <laughs> show it. Me yeah, show me something. Yeah, show me show something. Me something. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. you're, with your artworks and people are really like, you know, this is something I can see like the Shade Room featuring, right? Because yeah. I see Shade Room like feature mm -hmm. a lot of artists that do similar work, but, you know, and you have so many eyes. For your artwork mm -hmm. i mean you do tags as well for people mm -hmm. to see mm -hmm. and that's important and that's gonna really get you to where you want to go in the future yeah. as well and i i personally think that like your future is bright dante Thank i'm you. telling you this is like really <laughs> beautiful mm -hmm. it's so different than anything i've seen on my channel right right hey. to be honest so hey. this, that's why you know you know i do the rappers i do mm -hmm. the singers mm -hmm. i you know but your your artwork is really like it's, what it's, it's touching yeah, me it's what I do, and yeah. i really wish you like Big luck in Thank the future. Thank you. And I wish you big luck. I'm so happy Thank you're doing you. everything that you went to do. We've known each other for like years. Maybe like eight years. Yeah, like eight years. I don't years. even know. Since high school, we yeah. did mixes together, chilling, driving, yeah, all driving. that stuff. We had and a you good always time. spoke about being a host. And look at you. I know. You on my 33rd interview. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, but it was so great to have mm -hmm. you on my oh, show. Thank you so much for having You're me. Welcome. I appreciate it. Give me love. Give me love. <laughs>